Since it was first introduced, plastic surgery has become more and more common. Once a privilege of the rich and famous, now it's so common that maybe even you have had some work done. Oh my god, finally I'm gonna get the butt injection. But like anything, it can and does go wrong. These are the worst cases of plastic surgery. Number 20. Sahar Tabber. This teenage girl underwent as many as 50 plastic surgery procedures in order to look like her idol, Angelina Jolie. Sahar Tabber is a self professed Tomb Raider mega fan, and she would do anything to emulate the actress. She was only 19 years old when her face already looked this way. She looked so unreal that she was branded a zombie. Sahar is from Iran, and her story and her looks won her over 308,000 followers on her Instagram account. All her procedures were done in the space of just a few months, making her transformation all the more radical and sudden. She also reportedly went on an incredibly strict diet to maintain her 40 kilogram weight. Considering she's a little over 4.8 feet, that would place her under the category of dangerously underweight. The massive amount of followers she has don't seem to be very kind to her either, as many of them leave unflattering comments on her photos and videos. One of them just left a zombie, while another was a little more creative and commented, Her, Doc, make me look like an eight-month-old corpse. Doc, say no more. Before her extreme transformation, Sahar was a very normal, very cute girl until her overpowering desire to look like the movie star took over. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. This poor guy on the left wanted to look like Superman, but as you can see, it wound up being a classic example of what can happen when plastic surgery goes horribly wrong. From what we've heard, he had extensive surgery to reshape his face to have the more angular nature of Clark Kent. But trying to look like a comic book character will always go wrong, as real people just do not look like that. Now, as for the woman on the right, she got so obsessed with changing herself and so addicted to plastic surgery that she wound up looking like this. She took beauty standards way too far. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Hong Miyoku Plastic surgery can easily become a serious addiction for some people, and one of those people is certainly Hong Miyoku. She is a former model from Korea, and like many of them do, after her career ended, she became obsessed with her looks. She got addicted to silicone injections because she allegedly wanted super soft skin. But after a while, doctors started refusing her treatment as they thought she had a serious psychological issue. So Hong decided to inject an entire bottle of silicone that she bought from the black market. But if you know anything about addiction, you know Hong did not stop there. Not by a long shot. When her black market silicone was gone, or more accurately, under her skin, she proceeded to then inject cooking oil into her own face. After all these do-it-yourself beauty treatments, her face was left so incredibly swollen that not even her own parents recognized her. Doctors tried to help her, and after 10 operations, they felt they did everything that could be done. But Hong was nonetheless left severely disfigured from the silicone and the cooking oil. Her story appeared on Korean TV, and viewers donated thousands of dollars to pay for corrective surgery. But she still remains tragically transformed to this day. Number 18. Renee Tolly. Back in 2012, a woman named Renee became an internet sensation overnight after posting a video showing how she could flip her butt implants inside out. The stunt gave her five minutes of fame, and it also kind of warned people about the downsides of plastic surgery. And now she's back to explain in detail what happened to her. This is my implant flipping backwards. She apparently started altering her buttocks around the year 2010, a little midlife crisis as she calls it herself. She had asked the doctors for volume and fullness right at the top of her butt. But unfortunately, not even six months after getting silicone injections, she started feeling terribly sick. She was severely tired all the time and had a lot of pain and sensitivity in her butt. On top of all that, she was also having serious stomach issues and bathroom problems that were progressively getting worse. 
When she finally had an MRI, the doctors discovered in sheer horror that the silicone had migrated up her back and down her legs. The stuff was attaching to her organs and resulting in a very serious autoimmune disease. She asked for the silicone to be removed immediately, but the doctors warned her the operation could result in some deformities. But Vanity took the best of her, and against her doctor's advice, she decided to put implants in to fill the space where the silicone used to be. Number 17. April Brown this woman lost both her arms and legs after a butt enlargement. April Brown has been left a multiple amputee after she decided to have a back alley cosmetic surgery on her behind. I would never recommend to get a procedure done if you don't really need it, but whatever you do, never ever trust a doctor outside of a certified clinic. Miss Brown suffered from horrific and life-threatening infections after having silicone implants injected into her posterior. Oh my God, finally, I'm gonna get the butt injection. The procedure was carried out by an unlicensed practitioner in the city of Los Angeles. Actually, she later confessed that the procedure was carried out at a pumping party by back alley doctors. They swore they were injecting medical grade silicone, but in reality, most of it was actually industrial grade. The complications started right away, leading to several stints as a hospital inpatient. Miss Brown explains how she had those implants under her skin for eight years, and for five of those, she was living a hellish situation. Every day, she would feel excruciating pain all over her body. In 2011, her health deteriorated so much that she had no other choice than to amputate all her limbs. Number 16. Jackie Stallone Yes, this segment is about the woman who gave birth to one of the biggest Hollywood screen icons, Sylvester Stallone. Meet the woman who actually spoke out about her plastic surgery regrets. She claims that countless botched procedures have left her looking like a chipmunk with a mouth full of walnuts. Jackie, who was a 91-year-old socialite, decided to open up about her delicate health since she suffered from a horrific heart attack two months prior. In her mind, it was time to speak out about the horrible year she had had. People have to know that because so many people say, gee, what am I doing? First of all, the death of her daughter, Tony Ann Felitti, and of her grandson, Sage, left her in a deep state of depression. Defiant Jackie will never stop taking care of her appearance, though. She still wears high heels every single day and, according to her, too much Juvederm as well. Juvederm is a cosmetic filler that gets injected into the face to make it look plump. But in her case, it made it look like she has a mouthful of nuts, her words. But besides her opinions about her own procedures, she still has a lot to live for. She's in great health, and she's married to a man half her age. He is 60 years old. Cradle robber. She says that the secret to her longevity is that she goes through a bag of spinach every single day. Number 15. Raji Narine Singh. Raji began her entertainment career back in the 80s. At the beginning, she was a feature dancer on a show called Dance Party USA that was later rebranded Dancing On Air. Raji had a promising career. She even danced alongside Kelly Ripa, but for some reason, she always felt sort of displaced in her own body. So in 2005, she decided to take matters into her own hands and began being proactive about changing her appearance to what she would feel more comfortable with. Double be double teamed, teamed. Yes. <laughs> okay. by doctors at that. So Raji, who was actually born a man, underwent a series of breast, butt, cheek, and lip augmentations that not only would transform her into the woman she always wanted to be, but also earned her the nickname Cement Face. At first, her cheek injections were totally fine, but eventually she started feeling like a huge boil on the side of her face, and it simply kept on growing bigger and bigger. At the end of that same day, Raji was in a lot of pain, and eventually, a huge amount of green pus exploded out of her face and onto a mirror. It was green and yellow mixed with blood. Number 14. Monique Allen Meet the woman that has about 12 liters of liquid plastic pumped into her. Monique Allen is a transgender woman who, unfortunately, was left disabled and horribly disfigured by her plastic surgery addiction. Living in the wrong body can be very traumatizing for a lot of people, and understandably so, but trying to compensate with countless cosmetic procedures carried out by an unlicensed practitioner is never the right way to go, and Monique went a little overboard. She actually has had around 100 unregulated back alley operations on herself. 
She always came back for more, resulting in a size 38 triple F. Her gender reassignment happened when she was only 22 years old, but since her addiction took over and she became completely obsessed with pumping liquid plastic into her body, she estimates she has injected almost 12 liters during backstreet operations. She's also had 23 nose jobs and 9 breast augmentations. She is yet another victim of infamous Dr. John Reginald Brown, also known as Butcher Brown. Now, she struggles to walk and is even listed as disabled. She says that she ignored the risks and now has to live with the consequences. She was left having to pay £100,000 just to get bad silicone removed. But even though her surgery addiction has resulted in extreme health issues and disfigurement, she still craves one more nose job. Number 13. Donatella Versace Ah yes, it is impossible to make a video about plastic surgeries gone wrong and not talk about Donatella. It was so good to see the respect we have for, for, for this iconic girl. Even though the celebrity herself has firmly denied any other surgical procedures aside from Botox, here is a list of all the things she has clearly had done. First and foremost, yeah, it is true she does Botox injections quite regularly, but also laser treatments and a rhinoplasty that does not complement her face at all. She also had lip implants, which resulted in disaster because, for some reason, her upper lip ended up being significantly bigger than her lower one, and that is the polar opposite of what most people naturally have. Usually, the lower lip is 50% larger than the upper one. People have long mocked the fashion designer, saying mean things like her looking like a scary character from a horror film or that she looks like an alien. But it would seem that the comments and haters do not bother Donatella, and she's never done anything to correct her botched procedures either. Number 12. Vishal Tucker. Imagine waking up after getting a nose job just to find out in sheer terror that the plastic surgeon has removed your nose entirely. This could perfectly be the plot to a horror movie, right? Except it actually happened in real life. Vishal Tucker went to Dr. Angelo Cusalina, who was the president of the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery, by the way, for something like eight surgeries over the course of six years. Mr. Tucker went through a divorce in 2006, and that's when he decided to do something selfish and improve his physical appearance. Tucker says that after the first procedure, he experienced mild difficulty breathing that occurred when he slept or worked out. He had to go back eight times to Dr. Cusalina to fix various different problems caused from that very first procedure. Before one of the surgeries, Tucker specifically asked the nurses not to take any cartilage from his ears should they need it for his nose during the operation. But when he woke up, he had a poignant pain behind his ears because they had done just that without his consent. He had to make the decision. But the worst was still to come. When Mr. Tucker woke up after one of the procedures, only to realize that his nose had been cut off altogether. Number 11. Mickey Rourke Meet the Hollywood star that was supposed to be the next Marlon Brando. He was deemed as one of the most attractive men to have ever walked this earth, but a series of very unflattering plastic surgeries have destroyed the baby face he once had. The man, who once set pulses racing in films such as Nine and a Half Weeks, Body Heat, and Angel Heart, is now completely disfigured after a surgeon did a terrible job. The Hollywood star certainly does not deny that he had work done and actually speaks about it very openly. He wants to warn people about the horrible experience that he had to go through. He started by doing some minor touches on his nose when he was younger because, according to him, you have to have a certain look to succeed as an actor. You're gonna behave and you're gonna be on time and you're and seeing as he was also a professional boxer, his nose and cheekbones were either fractured or compressed, so something had to be done if he wanted to go back to the big screen. Except it all went horribly wrong. Number 10. Jocelyn Wildenstein Former billionaire and socialite Jocelyn Wildenstein is the poster child for plastic surgery gone terribly wrong. But her story is actually incredibly sad. She was a middle-class girl in Switzerland when she met billionaire art collector Alec Wildenstein. They got married shortly after. 
She was truly in love with him, but him being the powerful man that he was, eventually, after years of marriage, started to be interested in younger, prettier girls. Jocelyn grew more and more jealous and began to panic. That's when she decided to visit a plastic surgeon so that she could look better for her husband. At this point, Jocelyn was almost 50 years old, and nature and gravity were taking their natural course. But the surgeon actually did a great job, and for a while at least, Alec was delighted with the results. It seemed like their marriage was gonna survive after all. But to her dismay, she found out that her husband was still looking around for other women and out of desperation, she decided to make even more adjustments to her body and face. Alec apparently absolutely loved lions. He owned several of them and had paintings of lions all over his many houses. So Jocelyn simply went to her doctor and told him, make me look like a giant cat. Number 9. Amanda Lepore Amanda is a celebrated transsexual partygoer, and she claims she has the most expensive body on Earth. Lepore, 46, has done it all since she had her gender reassignment procedure at the young age of 19. Kinda, but like I, I, I was okay in Jersey at that time. She has breast augmentation surgery, buttock implants. She has even had her bottom ribs broken to achieve the smallest waist possible. In her defense, she thinks that Raquel Welch and Cher did that too, apparently. As the rib procedure is illegal in the United States, Amanda had to travel to Mexico to have it done. She explains that they break the floating rib in the back and push it in so there's no scar. After all of those intrusive and dangerous procedures, she has achieved the larger-than-life look that she always wanted, and now she's one of the most famous transgender women fixtures in the New York party scene. Her perfect hourglass figure came after many nips and tucks during her life, and now her measurements are 38, 22, 38, which is a dream for so many other women. Number 8. Christina Ray. Have you ever wondered who has the world's biggest lips? We know we sure have. It's all we can think about. Well, look no further. It's Christina Ray. She actually holds the Guinness World Record for the biggest lips at age 24. Throughout her life, Ray has had over 100 lip silicone injections. It all started when she noticed that her thin lips made her look ugly. She then decided to have them plumped up, emulating her favorite cartoon character, Jessica Rabbit. Each injection cost her roughly 40 pounds and is extremely painful, but Christina was not discouraged, not by a long shot. Not even after people constantly shout names at her in the street. She doesn't mind. She wants to go even more extreme. Her life goal is to look like a cartoon character. In Russia, where she comes from, you see adverts for silicone and Botox injections on TV all the time, making it easy for people to do the first step. In school, Ray was bullied because of her image. Her classmates called her ugly. That led to her first lip injection at the age of 17. She says that her big lips have helped her boost her confidence. She's happy with the modification. And of course, she's planning to go further and have many more procedures in the future. Number 7. Nikki Cox Nicole Avery Cox is an actress and comedy writer from the United States. She was in Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and in the TV show General Hospital. And like many actresses when they turn 40, they go under the knife in an attempt of preserving their youthful looks. The first thing she had done was a boob job, and it's evident she uses Botox injections on her face because when she smiles, her forehead simply stays still. Usually, people with Botox in their face have a very characteristic wrinkle-free and shiny skin. Some experts believe that she probably also had a lip augmentation procedure, which is pretty undeniable. The actress has never openly spoken about her cosmetic surgeries, and her vast fan base is very divided on the issue. One half is incredibly enthusiastic about the changes in her appearance, and the other does not comprehend why she even felt the need to change anything in the first place. But at the end of the day, it's her body, and therefore her decision to do with it as she pleases. Number 6. Michaela Romanini Italian socialite Michaela Romanini is to Italy what Paris Hilton is to the United States, but Michaela distinguishes herself in a very unique and peculiar physical appearance. 
She started experimenting with plastic surgery at a very young age, and she unfortunately ended up with a lot more than she bargained for. She was once an incredibly attractive young woman, but all the cosmetic procedures that Romanini has had gravely impacted her face to the point of disfiguration. For starters, she has a serious addiction to lip collagen injections, so much so that even when her lips were starting to make her look somewhat extraterrestrial, she simply couldn't stop doing them, just like a drug. She was once the kind of woman that every girl wanted to be like and every boy wanted to date, and now people make fun of her constantly on the street and on the internet. Think twice before going under the knife for cosmetic purposes. It can always backfire and ruin your life. Number 5. Pete Burns This is the very sad and eerie story of Pete Burns. The 57-year-old died of a massive cardiac arrest just weeks after he gave an interview admitting how his addiction to plastic surgery almost killed him. In this chilling interview, Pete explains how a pint and a half of yellow, steaming fluid came out of his lips and how the doctors had to almost amputate his lips. The star also admitted he'd had over 300 operations during his life. The very first time he went under the knife, it was after he had broken his nose and he needed to look good because he somehow knew he was going to be a visual entity. But it wasn't until years later that one of his doctors told him he had less than a 2% chance of survival when a lip filler injection spread to the rest of his body. He had to have his lips drained by a surgeon, but it was too late. The filler had migrated to his cheeks, his Adam's apple, and to the back of his eyes. He became clinically depressed, and he also developed blood clots and pulmonary embolisms in his legs, heart, and lungs. Eventually, his heart gave up, and he died of a tragic death only a few weeks after he admitted that his surgery addiction almost killed him. Number 4. Tara Jane Tara is a nurse, and she spent $100,000 on transforming herself into a perfect plastic Barbie doll. And of course, she has no plans to stop until she achieves that perfect body that she wants. Tara is from McConaughey, Australia, and she has admitted to the press that she is completely addicted to cosmetic procedures. She has made it her life's purpose. She travels the world in search for the flawless, fake, sexy body. She's financing her dream through a website called OnlyFans, which is an adult-only subscription platform where people can post explicit pictures and videos. On the website, she made over $10,000 in just three days by simply charging her fans a fee to see her content. The 31-year-old calls herself an upgraded limited edition Barbie doll on social media. Just by looking at her, it becomes quite clear that the list of cosmetic surgeries she hasn't had done would be much shorter than the ones she has undergone. Every single inch of her face and body looks fake. But since that seems to be her exact goal, job well done. Number 3. Michael Jackson I don't know if you knew this, but apparently those who knew Michael Jackson say that the King of Pop kept a jar of fake noses to hide his own nose that was beyond repair. When the superstar tragically passed away from a painkiller-induced cardiac arrest in 2009, the internet was swarmed by pictures of him lying dead in the mortuary. His body was covered in marks and puncture wounds, and he weighed so very little. Some witnesses back then claimed that Jackson's prosthetic nose wasn't there, which exposed the true disastrous state of his nasal cavity after suffering through decades of surgery. The star's face, which he had so painfully reworked and concealed from everybody, was now exposed, open, undistinguished under the harsh lights. For years and years, Jackson firmly denied having anything other than two rhinoplasties, the first being in 1979 when he dramatically fell while dancing and broke his nose. But apparently, he was so delighted with the results that an obsession started until he had nothing left but a gaping hole where his nose once was. Number 2. Big Ange, Angela Riola. So, Big Ange was a woman that, as her name suggests, had a big presence, so much so that she literally made a living out of it. She became a reality TV star, and she managed to keep her fans glued to the screen with her antics on Mob Wives. However, once she started experimenting with plastic surgery, the dramatic changes in her features made her infamous, a situation that nobody wants to be trapped in. Being a huge reality TV star and also the niece of a very well-known crime boss, her appearance was not the only thing that made Big Ange stand out 
out from the crowd. She had always been very open about having gone through plastic surgery, and to be completely honest, she wouldn't have been able to deny it even if she had tried. One look at her face and it becomes extremely clear she has had a lot done. She herself has admitted many times on having an addiction to cosmetic procedures, and that she had always been keen to go under the knife. Today, she looks completely different than she once did. She looks like another person altogether, and not necessarily in a positive way. Number 1. Pixie Fox this former electrician has undergone four boob jobs, a brow lift, a cheekbone reduction, a complete face reconstruction, and also an eyelash transplant using her own pubic hair. All of this to achieve her dream of looking just like a cartoon character. But now, her surgeons, Terry Dubrow and Paul Nassif, have both refused to operate on her ever again. They believe that the 28-year-old suffers from an acute case of body dysmorphia and also from plastic surgery addiction. Pixie Fox is obsessed with Disney, and she was recently featured on the first episode of E's Botched when she tried to persuade the doctors to lower her hairline. Both doctors explained to her that her hairline was perfectly fine and in the right place, as they tried to plea with her to stop having plastic surgery. She's also the first person in the whole world to have had an eyelash transplant using her own pubic hair. She's also had six of her ribs removed to give her that cartoonish, extreme hourglass figure, and her breast size is now a gigantic 30J. But despite the criticism from the doctors about her physical appearance, Pixie seems to be very happy with her looks. She insists she's even proud of herself. She adds that she's never really felt human anyway. She's always felt more like a pixie, like a fantasy creature. She's made it her life goal to work on her looks. Today, she travels all over the world for her surgeries. As you can see, a plastic surgery procedure is still very much dangerous, even if its aim is just to look better and not to cure anything. What about you? Even knowing all the many and serious risks of plastic surgery, would you still have something done? And do you think there should be a limit on how many plastic surgeries a person can have? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!